Hey everybody, Joe Venorni, Cherry the Geek TV. We are here at San Diego Comic Con 2023 talking about a fantastic new graphic novel coming soon called Defiant. It's the story of Robert Smalls. We are joined by the descendant of the real uh, uh, Captain Smalls. Uh, you are uh, Michael B. Moore. Yes. Uh, talk to me about who is Robert Smalls. Uh, how did he contribute uh, uh, to history? And uh, what's the story of this graphic novel? Yeah, um, I, I won't give you the hour-long version. I'll, I'll, I'll cut down now because it's, it's, he, he did a lot of things. I mean, but he was an enslaved person who um, found himself in Charleston, South Carolina during the Civil War, was employed on a 150-foot sidewheel steamer called the Planter, became its uh, pilot, meaning that he, he sailed the vessel all around. Um, he was married. He had two young kids. He knew that if he could somehow get to a uh, United States blockade that was just outside the mouth of Charleston Harbor, that he could be free. He, was, he loved his family. He knew that at any time his family could be sold away from him. And so he took a risk. I mean, he, uh, and to make a, a long story short, um, you know, on May 13th, 1862, he got the other enslaved crew and their families, about 17 people in all, and uh, the Confederate crew left for the night, and he sailed about past five forts to, to freedom and uh, came back into the war effort, was the first African-American to command a United States naval vessel, uh, fought in 17 battles. Um, after the war, went back to his hometown of Beaufort, got involved in politics, first elected to the South Carolina legislature, where there he wrote the legislation to create the first public school system in America as we know it now. Um, got elected to Congress, the United States House of Representatives for five terms. I mean, just, and, and it's just on and on and on. I mean, he, he's a person who, during a time in our history where there were so many things that needed to be sort of recalibrated or needed to be, uh, to be fixed, he kind of stuck his neck out to try to make a difference. When you hear his story, it's one of those stories where you, we're, most people have never heard this story and then when you hear it you're like oh why is not somebody uh, turn this into a movie why isn't somebody like why doesn't everybody know this in school have you uh, before this project tried to get this out into the world as a, as a book or as a movie uh, or have you been approached in the past how did how did this specific uh, project come about yeah I Honestly, I've, I've been approached many times over the years. Um, I did a TED Talk about Robert Smalls um, maybe a decade ago. Um, but this, this team was, was, was different. I mean, um, I think the Legion M business model of, of really trying to generate kind of energy and interest from fans, I think, made it different. There were memes online that were saying, hey, this here's this guy, he did this, 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 and this. This is an incredible story. Where's the movie? And I think Legion M said, yeah, you're, you're right. This is an incredible story. And then started to explore it and pull together an amazing team of people. And, uh, and I couldn't be prouder uh, about the effort to be a part of it. I think it's going to be a really exceptional graphic novel. I think it's, you know, whenever it is presented beyond that as a movie or a series, I think it's going to be incredible. And... Um, I, it's uh, it's amazing. Talk about this Kickstarter campaign. It launched about as we're recording this at San Diego Comic Con uh, towards the end of July. It launched about two weeks ago. Uh, you hit funding. You were asking for ten thousand uh, dollars. Hit hit that goal in forty five minutes. Uh, as we're recording now, you're at seven hundred percent of the goal. There's still weeks to go. When you were watching this, then to find out that that it got funded in one hour. Uh, Talk about that. What what were you going through that to see that there is a, there actually it validates you, right? Yeah. It, there is excitement out yeah, there. Absolutely. I mean, um, these other creative folks have more experience with it. I mean, I'm I'm sort of nervous about like, is it is it going to stick? Is, is there going to be any kind of inertia, momentum to it? And to see the, the you know the original amount go by, like you said, in 45 minutes, and just to keep going. I mean, it's just really heartening. I mean, I think at a personal level, it is a um, just a confirmation that the story that I've grown up with my whole life um, 
is really an interesting story and has some real weight to it. And, and again, I think the team of people who are coming together to do this is just spectacular and, and um, yeah, it's just amazing. Well, the book is called Defiant. Uh, you can still back it on Kickstarter for a few more weeks and then it'll, you can still uh, go on and, uh, and get involved with it after that as well. Uh, we look forward to that book coming out later this year. Thank yeah. you so much yeah. for chatting with Thank us you. on Cherry the Geek TV. Stay tuned for more coverage here at San Diego Comic Con 2023. Robert Smalls was a harbor pilot, forced to steer huge ships through Charleston Harbor for the Confederacy. There was a United States blockade just outside the mouth of the harbor, and he knew that if he could somehow get there, that he'd be free. Came the night of May 12th of 1862, he got his family and the family of all of the enslaved crew on a 140-foot gunship, and they stole it. They sailed to the side of the USS Onward and jaws were on the floor. It broke so many stereotypes about what enslaved people could do, who they were. They make him the captain of the vessel, first African American to command a United States naval vessel, to be the most senior African American to serve during the Civil War. He started a railroad. He ran for Congress successfully many times. He is the reason why we have a public school system. He's the reason why black people are in the military. He actually bought the mansion that he was a former slave in. Who walks up to the steps of that home but the widow of his former master. She's got dementia. It's the only address she can remember. They take her in. Only a superhero could have that type of empathy, that type of humility, that type of forgiveness. My name is Rob Edwards. I'm the writer of Defiant. Before that, I wrote a movie called The Princess and the Frog, Treasure Planet, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Full House, In Living Color, a bunch of stuff. We're producing a feature film and graphic novel about the amazing life of Captain Robert Smalls. Everything on television at this point is a video game or a graphic novel, and I think that speaks to the importance and the impact that this youth generation that we're in right now has on entertainment. My name is Marvin Jones III. Many of you may know me from Black Lightning, Harry's Law, Enter the Spider-Verse. The Robert Small story is, to me, a complete American superhero story. In some contexts, he's captain. Others, he's congressman. I grew up hearing about grandpa. My name is Michael Boulware Moore. I really have a cellular connection um, to the story about my great-great-grandfather. Hey everyone, it's Chris Cooper with Legion M, associate producer on Defiant. Thank you to everyone out there supporting this project right now. We are so excited to bring this incredible story to life. Every time you hear stories like this told, you hear about just the pain of slavery and there'll be a lot of that and then there'll be an escape. And then the end of it is, oh good, he's free. But nobody ever talks about what happened afterwards. The world of black America changed. Doctors, lawyers, millionaires came out of nowhere. Robert Smalls was key to that. He was the embodiment of all the great things that were happening during Reconstruction. We get to make the movie we want to make once the graphic novel is out there, because people will understand what we're doing. Hollywood had over 100 years to tell this story. They've made more than 10 Fast and the Furious movies, two emoji movies, and they haven't made this one yet. But we're trying to fix that. Legion M loves making movies, but we know they're expensive, they take a long time to get made, and they're really complex. And a story like Robert Smalls deserves to be told now. Releasing a graphic novel allows us to get this incredible story out sooner. Creating something that can package just such a powerful story in a compelling, you know, even riveting kind of a way. It's got some fantastic artwork. It's one of those things that rewards you for reading it twice uh, because the visuals are so stunning. We're working with an all-star team on this project. We have Rob Edwards, writer of Treasure Planet and Princess and the Frog. He's writing the graphic novel. We have Nicholas Draper Ivy, who did the cover for Kendrick Lamar's Black Panther, the movie album. He's doing our covers. We have Ray Anthony Height, who did Luke Cage, Star Wars, Midnight Tiger. He's doing our interiors. And editing the whole thing, we have Chris Robinson, who edited Marvel's Black Panther. Robert Smalls, that story essentially impacts black people today and being tasked to be 
part of the team that's bringing the graphic novel to life using my experiences as a superhero comic artist all these years. It's an honor. The team that Legion M has pulled together is just a fabulous group. I think this is this kind of story that you want to help tell. To the extent that it's relevant, I think the family will be 1,000% behind the project and give a measure of authenticity and, and approval. We want you to join us. We want you to join the Legion and help us tell this great story.